oh gosh chai americano cinnamon tea so good and it makes it even better because it's in one of my fall mugs hey y'all it's me simply Tanya renee welcome to another video today we are in the kitchen as you can tell cooking i'm going to do my version of fried cabbage we have some smoked turkey sausage here. Listen, I know, pescatarian, vegetarian, all that jazz. However, right now, I feel like I want some extra protein. And since I'm not like 100%, I think I'm flexitarian. I think that's what it is. I'm gonna do fried cabbage and incorporate this um, smoked turkey sausage. I'm gonna do some yellow pepper, red pepper, onion, and I'm super excited. So if you're interested in seeing how this dish turns out, stick with me. But right now, I'm gonna get another sip of my tea. So listen, y'all, I have been enjoying my cinnamon tea. They have been just keeping me warm and it's now fall, so I've been feeling like all fall, y'all, vibes around here. So I'm gonna sip on this and I'm gonna cook. Everything has been rinsed, except um, the sausage, of course, because we're not gonna rinse that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, we're going to move the veg out of the way. Well, the peppers are actually fruit. We're gonna move this out of the way. And then we're gonna first cut up the sausage. How have you all been doing? It's been a minute since we cooked, right? Yeah, I think it's been a minute since we actually cooked. Well, not that long, because we did cook together Sunday. But, oh no, I lost some sausage. All right, so. Um, I should have my glasses on because I need to be able to see. Why is there sausage? Oh, it's the skin. I was like, wait, what is that? Oh, it's skin, but I don't like the way that piece of skin looks, so I'm peeling it off. But, um, it's fall and I'm thinking of all these like fall recipes and comfort foods and I love fried cabbage, so I figured, you know what? Make it into like a little look i can't be losing all my sausage make it into like a little one pot dish um thinking of all these recipes that i want to do in the crock pot it's just that time of year i know a lot of people use their crock pot and cook like soups and things all year round there are times that i want soup in the summertime but for the most part i love the fall season because crock pot hello soups and stews and chowders and you name it so I think I'm gonna do, I know I did potato leek soup last year for you guys. I think I'm gonna do some more potato leek soup, um, a couple of different types of chili, and now this cinnamon tea is kicking in, honey, and girl, listen, I'm about to start sweating, goodness. So it has warmed me up. Let me wash my hands, and then I am rinse my knife. And get to cutting the vegetables. Okay, so the knife is rinsed. My cutting board is now wiped off. I need to get some water because this tea, although it's good and it does warm you up, it be sending you into hot flashes too, correction. It be sending me into hot flashes. But I got some cold water. Just like that, we have water. Okay, sausage is now cut up and just cut it into little circles. You could also add to this if you wanted to use like, um, you could add shrimp if you wanted to, or if you use pork sausage, um, beef, but I'm using smoked turkey. And with the cabbage, I'm just gonna cut it into discs and then I am going to cut it a little bit more to kind of like shred it. And I think I wanna I'm gonna see how much core, how thick the core is, and to decide if I wanna cut the core out. But like I was saying, I am super excited to start getting into like my crock pot meals. Um, just because it just, it just makes me feel all warm and cozy inside when I fix crock pot meals. And on top of that, they are really good meals that, you know, they can last a few days. So I'm just gonna cut it just a little bit. I don't want to completely like have it into diced pieces, but I do want to shred it some. So I'm just cutting it like this. 
So have you guys, do you decorate for the fall? And if so, what have you decorated already? Or have you decorated? I'm also gonna be going to Back to the Pumpkin Patch next month, October. And I'm going to cut some sunflowers, um, pick some apples, and I will also be bringing home some pumpkins for my front porch. And last year, I decided that I would take one of the smaller pumpkins and make a homemade pumpkin pie because my niece loves pumpkin pie. Y'all know what? I'm just gonna cut it like this to get that core out because it is really thick. Um, my niece, my elder niece, she loves pumpkin pie. And so instead of using the canned pumpkin, I said that I was going to try to um, just use one of the fresh pumpkins from the pumpkin patch and make her some pumpkin pie. So I'm gonna make sure I get a small, a one that's small enough to make her some pumpkin pie. And my daughter eats it too every now and then. She says she doesn't eat it all, all the time, but she does like it. Um, I'm not a huge, huge pie person, although I do like some pies. Like I really like key lime pie. I also really like um, apple pie. Um, I wanna try to make some homemade apple cob, no, not apple cobbler, apple crisps. I wanna try to make some homemade apple crisp this year. So I'll be using some apples to make the apple crisp. Last year I made some, um, I think it was like an apple dumpling that I made last year. Cause those apples were so good and they have so many varieties at the um, farm. It's called Culliper Farms and it's in Chesapeake, Virginia. I think it's where it is. But it was so nice. They have so much there. They have, um, you know, apple cider and all different types of things. I'll take y'all with me when I go. All right, so the cabbage is already cut. Now we're gonna cut these peppers. I don't think I actually wanna use an, a whole pepper. I think I'm gonna use a half a pepper, half of each one. Let's see, let's get these seeds out. All right, so the peppers are out. Let me throw this away. I should probably get another bowl just to sit some things in. All right, actually we can move our cabbage to the bowl and I'm going to season it with probably just like some chicken bouillon. Y'all know my favorites, onion and garlic powder, do some crushed red pepper, um, and maybe a vegetable seasoning. I have a vegetable seasoning um, that I have not used yet. So I'm probably gonna try that in the cabbage. Put a little bit of olive oil in the pan and let it do what it does. Now let's rinse these peppers off. And let's cut these peppers. So, I don't know if you've seen it, but I did post a video recently with my, what I have so far in the garden. I am gonna post a video of what all will be, it, it just got in my eye what all will be in my fall slash winter garden. So stay tuned for that. Um, I dropped some seeds. What was it? I think I did that video. It's been maybe a week. I dropped some um, seeds for green peas. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. Dropped some seeds for green peas or snap peas and um, broccoli oh and by the way if it gets dark it's because i am losing one of my lights it's about to go out and i didn't even think to bring my taller light in here so if it gets dark my apologies up front but anyway back to the garden so i did plant some snap peas and broccoli lettuce collards and everything is looking really good so far the lettuce is, uh, is coming up and my peas are definitely coming up. So I already added um, some steaks so that they can have something to climb up because they are really growing fast. Um, I also found out that this is a really good time for me to go in with my garden with dill and parsley and cilantro 
and some and carrots so i am going to do that but i'm not gonna talk y'all's head off about that right now because i'm gonna do a video on that i'm gonna cut half this onion because i do like a lot of onion in my um for the most part i like a lot of onion in my food that was a horrible cut that was awful and no as y'all know i'm not a chef i just be cooking I like to cook, I like to eat, and I like good food. So therefore, I try my absolute best to make sure that my food has tons of flavor. Woo, this onion strong. Oh, I'm not crying, you are. Oh my gosh. And I chose one of the smaller bulbs because I don't want like a strong, strong garlic taste. I just want like a hint of the garlic. So I have some larger bulbs in the um, pantry. So I don't refrigerate my garlic nor my onions, but I do know that there are people who do refrigerate theirs. So I'm using the smaller ones just because I want a little hint of it. My garlic, I've never had good success with it and it's probably because I'm not planting it at the right time. So I need to do a little research so that I can see the best time. I do have some ginger that's sprouting over there because um, I want to try ginger this year. So we have some ginger sprouting and I'm just going to do a rough chop on this garlic. Not quite minced, but it is finely chopped. I'm going to use this coconut oil, but I'm using, and there's some still on the spoon. So, and I love these little silicone rubber spoons because you can bend them and get your oils all off. Oh, and I took out some okra because I want to do some um, roasted okra. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my oven on so the oven can be preheating. Uh, when I roast okra, I do it on 425 and I don't cut it because cutting it to me is what makes it slimy and I don't like it slimy. So I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 425 so that I can start getting this stuff right. All right, so we have our oil in there. The first thing I'm going to do is just drop all of my peppers and onions and garlic in. And once it comes up to temperature, then you'll start hearing some sizzling. But for now, I'm just going to mix it into the oil and then I'm going to season it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start seasoning my peppers and onions and garlic. I'm going to do some crushed red pepper flakes and I do like my food spicy. So I'm going to put in about that much pepper flakes. I'm going to do some onion powder, some garlic powder. But this is the garden seasoning, garden vegetable seasoning that I'm using. Let me turn this light back on so that you can see the pan better. And I didn't put any salt because this garden vegetable seasoning has salt in it. Stir this up. That way we can coat everything with the seasoning. As you can see, our peppers and onions and garlic are really cooking up nicely. That's my word, nicely. I'm going to make a well and then I'm going to drop the sausage in. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of this vegetable seasoning. And I think I am gonna add a little bit of my Creole seasoning to it. Just a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of Creole seasoning. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my okra also. Y'all know when the cabbage go in, we're gonna add a little bit more seasoning to the cabbage. We're gonna layer our seasoning. All right, you can see we have like a nice crust on the bottom of the sausage. So now we can mix it up. And now we're gonna add the cabbage. And as you know, cabbage does have a good amount of water content. But I am gonna add in a little bit of chicken broth. Just chicken bouillon. That way it can actually help it steam up some and I'm going to cover it with the lid and we're going to come back and check on it in a little while. 
All right, so this is the okra that I'm using. It's just um just fresh okra from the okra. <laughs> just some fresh okra from the grocery store. I'm gonna rinse it off. And it's about a pound. I'm gonna line my pan first with foil. And I'm gonna go and rinse off the okra and then bring it back and get to the rest of the stuff done. <laughs> so the okra is now rinsed. These are some huge pieces. And I'm just gonna lay them in the pan like that. And I'm gonna spray it with olive oil. And I'm gonna make sure that the okra gets oil on both sides. And this is how I'm gonna make sure it gets oil on both sides. We just gonna swoosh it around. Just a swooshing. All right. Nanny wash my hands again because they're oily from swooshing the okra. We're just gonna put some crushed red pepper. Dog, now I got oil on my hand again. Well, I need my hand to be oily anyway. So we're gonna add some more red pepper, mix it up. Then we're gonna add some Creole seasoning. Onion powder. And if you're texture weird, you're not gonna be able to do this cause I'm not weird about textures, but the grittiness just feels weird. All right, garlic powder. some of the vegetable seasoning and we're gonna spray just a little bit more olive, a little bit more of the olive oil just to coat it really nicely and lay it on the pan because it is really seasoned now all right and scoop the rest of my little seasoning out and I'm gonna put I'm gonna be now I'm gonna put this in the oven and let it roast for about 15 to 20 minutes so the cabbage is done. It looks amazing. I'm gonna put it in this little container. And then I'm gonna try some. And I can smell the okra also. All right, here comes the moment of truth. Let's get some cabbage, some peppers. Let's make sure some everything is on the fork. Cabbage, mm, that was onion. Cabbage, onions, peppers, garlic is probably in it, but this is what it looks like. Oops. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Let me get me a plate, put some of this on it, some okra. Dynamite! Got a good kick to it. There it is. Let me check on the okra. And we're gonna be wrapping it up for the day. In scene, wait, in scene. So the okra roasted up really good. We're just gonna take them out and put them in. And the way I know that they're roasted, it's cause it's split. So they're ready. Ready, Freddy. And let's fix us a little dinner, shall we? All right, we can get us a nice helping of cabbage. And we'll get a couple of pieces of okra. We can go in with three. Three pieces of okra. <clears throat> and there's my dinner. Let's try this okra. I'm gonna try one out of here because this is gonna be my little picture. Mm. Cook perfectly, and as you can see, it's not slimy at all. That is perfect. Ooh, I'm gonna get me another one. I'm gonna get four pieces of that. Mm hmm. From my kitchen to yours, my heart to yours. Girl, we ain't say the grace. Wait a minute. Mm 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 mm.
I bid you adieu and I will talk to you next time. Next up, fall cocktail. No apple, no cinnamon, no pumpkin. Good evening.